Hi everyone, this is Joseph Olari and today we'll be looking at our threshold regression analysis. But before we go into the analysis proper, do not forget to hit on the subscription button. It's free. Thank you. Now, the threshold regression analysis is a non-linear time series model that allows for regime switching. What do I mean by regime switching? Let's say we want to look at how interest rate affect economic growth, okay? And then we want to categorize the interest rate into different regimes, okay? Regime of low interest rate, regime of high interest rate. Let's say, for example, so this threshold will help us to uh, isolate how low interest rate affect economic growth and how high interest rate affect economic growth. Okay, and in the process, we could establish a linear or non-linear relationship between the two variables. Okay, by way of demonstration, let's say we are taking GDP growth as our dependent variable. You hold on to your control button and you click interest rate. Those two variables. You right click and then you open as a as a question you hope one has a question okay I think it's loading loading you okay let's do that again you hope one has a as a question and then you come to the drop down menu here and you click on the threshold regression okay when you click on threshold regression you come down to the uh, the third box here and then you Come and specify your uh your threshold variable that will be interest rate. Interest rate. And then you click on OK. And then you have your result. Okay. Now this result, the threshold value used is uh, 17.5. That is automatically selected by the by the software. Okay. Now this is telling us that uh interest rate below 17.5% have this effect on economic growth. Okay. An interest rate above 17.5 uh, percent um, uh, have a, a, this effect on economic growth. Okay, so basically, it's telling us that when inf if interest rate is low, the effect on economic growth, negative effect on economic growth, is less than when uh, it is uh, it is it is more than 17.5 percent. So from this analysis, uh, we can conclude that there's a linear relationship between interest rate and economic growth because the two the two division of interest rate gives us the same sign okay you see here when interest rate is less than 17.5 percent we have it's negatively affect economic growth and when it is above 17 equal to above 17.5 percent it uh, negatively affect uh, uh, economic growth okay now but if we have uh if this were to be positive sorry for that if this were to be positive and this were to be negative, then we say it's a non-linear relationship. Okay, that would be an inverted U shape relationship. And if this were to be negative, and uh, if this were to be positive, uh, I would say we have a U shape relationship. Okay, that is also a non-linear relationship. Okay, so uh, together with it, you have your half square, your adjusted R square, your F statistics, and uh, some other um, criteria you have you have in the model. So. This is all about threshold regression analysis. Enjoy your watch and do not forget to click on the subscription button. Thank you.